wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already. But I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days. Unlike me. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE. When I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time. Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. I've heard enough, and I like where this is headed. I'm ready to join Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
That's it. Ring the bell. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for the World Tag Team titles. And they'll have to go through a Moss and Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Well, Saxton took that the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This triple threat tornado tag match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see if Randy Orton's new evolution lives up to the hype. Right to the kidneys. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Wow, come on, blow that. Hoist it up. Buster. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Shriven down hard.
Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions experience teaming together prevail. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. What's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently oh. lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bit. Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. My goodness, absolute dominance. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He moved. And he capitalized. Tilt the world into the arm drag. And Locke got turned around there. Keep it in the ring, please. Sack is a very fragile boy. This is just proof pop. What a German suplex. Oh, he's got him by the leg. Foot DDT. right into the corner. What agility. Nice arm drive. Agility like that? Easier said than done, gentlemen. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Finds room and lands a jawbreaker. Take it down to the canvas. Reaches his partner for the tag. Kick to the gut creates separation. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. Knees meet the face. something in the corner. Up on the turnbuckle now. Up on the top rope. As this part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. And down. Ooh. And the kibosh being put. Uh-oh. Showtime. The 
It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, right to the kidneys, Mark. Yikes, that don't even wake you up or knock you out. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Mr. Revolving door of forearms. Listen to the end. Thanks for coming. Close. I don't know where he found the energy to kick out of that, but Montez did it. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you gotta be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. Oh man, drop kick. Consecutive attacks keeping Dawkins off his game. No way. Astounding. Oh. And Locke gets surprised there. Ford weathered the storm and is looking to rain down some damage of his own. Right to the face. My God. Switching it up. Nice shot in. Slick shot cutter. There's a wheelbarrow. Boom, DDT. Oh, man. Escapes in a nick of time. The sound of this crowd is deafening. He's asking for more. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. And Zagiri finds its mark. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. The German. Ooh. Hits hard, lands harder. Brought down with the bulldog. Does he have him here? He breaks the ref's count after one. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. I can't believe it. Thanks for coming. performance. And Zagiri finds its mark. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Oh, what do they have planned here? Look at this. Handstand. Oh, that was awesome. And well-timed maneuver there. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. skeptical, but The Lock delivered the goods tonight. The Lock has made a believer out of Corey Graves, everyone. Anything is possible. The action we just witnessed was really something else. This is one I won't forget for a long time. bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> it's 
sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. 